There's lots of land in the world. The trouble is we're losing 10 to 12 million hectares every year through soil erosion and urbanization. So the challenge is how do we get more production from existing land to meet the demand of an increasing population that wants a better diet? Corn yields in the United States are about twice the level of corn yields in China. Why is this? Well, it's simply because of technology. The same is true of wheat in Europe, high yields in the West, low yields in the East. We can transform that picture within two or three years, and we are doing it. We're talking about better seed varieties, uh, hybrid seeds that are much more productive. We're talking about genetically modified seeds in raising yields worldwide, and we're talking about crop protection products, ones which are specifically applied to seed, seed treatments, and ones which are sprayed in the right way on the crops when they're needed to ensure that they, they maximize yields. Well, I think the simplest way to define sustainable land use is that we use the land and the water and the trees and the fish for our own needs, but make sure that the next generation has the same resources to use as well. I would say the biggest challenge of, of maintaining productivity in, in land that we use today is soil. Technology has a massive role to play in, in, in soil conservation. Think of the plow as, as really ancient technology. We don't need it anymore. If you don't plow and you use a simple herbicide, you can preserve soil moisture, you can preserve soil structure, you can economize on energy, and you won't release all that CO2 in the atmosphere. We are the leading company that can bring all these technologies to farmers around the world. The notion of contributing to society by increasing agricultural productivity, producing more food, there's nothing more central to the well-being of human beings than food.